Good morning, Chairman, Dr. Martin Nixon, Feature Speaker, Ms. Carmen Duncan, Principal, Ms. Marshall Huggins, Second Class President of the Chihuahua Monte Dago Rehabilitation Teachers Association, Ms. Tina Rangitan, Parents Representative, other specially invited guests, teachers, and other members of staff, parents, fellow classmates. Today, we close the chapter of our primary school education and will soon enter the adventurous world of secondary school. Today is not a day of sorrow, but a day in which we celebrate and take a further leap into a successful future. We have indeed been fortunate to have had the opportunity to learn and grow in a supportive and nurturing environment. As for now, I would like to take a leap back in time as we recognize my classmates and my primary school experience. Combined with the compassion and kindness, our infant one teacher, Ms. Martin, would give us the first few building blocks in our primary school experience. I always remember the first day of school when I shed a few tears. And Miss Martin's confident voice told me it was going to be okay. And she hugged me and showed me to my seat. After, my tears were instantly left away as I knew everything would be alright. Next, we entered into the capable hands of Mr. Mohammed, who always took his time to ensure that we understood the rule we were being taught. And who could forget Ms. Sukhana, our standard one teacher, who always motivated us. She was more than just the teacher, but someone we could depend on. I remember staying inside, trying to solve a math problem on recess, while everyone was outside playing, and she noticed. In a calm and patient way, she assisted me with her problem. And suddenly, everything made sense. Her daughter also has my nickname, she, so she always referred to me as her second daughter. However, in this standard, our learning environment would switch up to say, We were forced into the learning environment of our home due to the coronavirus. Despite this, our teachers tried their best to cope with the sudden change. The pandemic continued and we were still online. During this time, we were guided by Sunday sign. I can't believe that our entire Sunday to experience was from behind a screen. It was a surreal time, but still it always crack a joke now and then to keep our spirits up through the screen. Not long after, we proceeded into standard three where our school experience continued behind the screen. Finally, in the third term of Standard 3, we were allowed to return to school for in-person teaching with Mrs. O'Y. Her meticulous nature soon got us back into the rhythm of being in a physical classroom. Mrs. O'Y constantly challenged us to think critically as she prepared us for Standard 4. Some of my classmates were in Miss Kitsing's standard three class, and they have fond memories of her being a patient and kind teacher. I also purchased Bentley, my teddy bear, who is almost the size of me, from her famous flea market store during our fundraiser ventures. Soon, we found ourselves in standard four and five with a compassionate Miss Rennie who sacrifices not going to see and much appreciated. She truly wanted us to succeed in our secondary entrance assessment examinations. She worked tirelessly to ensure that we were prepared. In Standard 5, we also had a wonderful addition to our class, Miss Anna Ramdi, our classroom OJT. She was always there to lend a helping hand and offer us support. Along the way, many teachers assisted us, like Mrs. Rangitan, who would willingly assign me and keep a watchful eye on us if our class teacher was ill, as well as Mr. Hussein, who 
took his time during the lunch period to prepare students from our class to participate in track and field events. And then there is our school principal, Miss Dunker, who would always share words of wisdom and motivational stories of successful persons to encourage us to always do our best. She would always bring visitors to speak to us. During reading month, we were always impressed by the local celebrities that would visit our school. We will also never forget how impressed we were at seeing Miss Duncan's skipping skills as she demonstrated this activity to us for a little to violence, yes to sports day. I would now like to take this opportunity to give thanks. To our parents, thank you for motivating us to our primary school, for helping us with our homework and providing financial support. Without you, we would not be here today. To all our teachers here at St. Augustine South Government Primary School, who did an astounding job in preparing us for a successful future, we thank you. We would also like to thank Ms. Tanisha Hippolyte, the music instructor, for assisting and training us to perform our graduation song and giving us the experience to begin learning to play the piano. To you, the ancillary staff, we thank you for keeping our school clean and our school compound secure. Thanks, Tante Kowalski and Uncle Ina for providing us with tasty snack options and a variety of snacks in the school's cafeteria. But most of all, thanks for watching out for us throughout our journey here at this school. To you, Ms. Renu, our Santa 4 and 5 teacher, we thank you for your hard work and dedication to us. And to you, our principal, whose leadership has provided us with a well-rounded primary school education, we thank you. To you, my fellow classmates, as we embark on our respective paths, let us not forget the importance of giving back and making a difference in the world. I urge you all to take a step back and consider how you can contribute to making the world a better place. Whether it is through small acts of kindness or volunteering your time and talents, each of us has the power to make positive changes in our communities and beyond. As we move into the next phase of our lives, let us remember the values instilled in us during our time at this school. Kindness, responsibility, respect, honesty, and a commitment to excellence. Let us look at the man in the mirror and realize that if we want to make the world a better place, the change starts with us. Let us be the change we wish to see in the world, leading by example and inspiring others to follow. Before I conclude my speech, I would like to leave you with the wise words of Albert Einstein. I believe we are here to do good. It is the responsibility of every human to make the world a better place than we found. I am confident that each and every one of us has the potential to make a lasting impact on the world. And I look forward to seeing the incredible things we will achieve in the years to come. Congratulations, class of 2024. I challenge you to go forth and make the world a better place. Thank you.